So I just recently got this from the guys at Tough Built. I appreciate uh, all them out there at Tough Built and they sent this to me so I could do a review on it and show you all. Fantastic. I uh, had a little bit of an opportunity today to try this thing out and uh, really kind of dive into it but this shock stop hammer is it uh, the head design absorbs the vibration at the head substantially sub substantially reducing strain and fatigue uh, it does have the oversized milled uh, hammer head uh, face and which I like so you don't kind of um, miss things it's a little bit a little easier to hit the nail on the head so to speak uh, and then the high velocity design concentrates all, all the mass at the head and maximizes the striking force so um, you'll see when I add that other footage of me um, pounding some nails in, into some wood man this thing is is really well balanced I uh, really like the uh, the feel of the the handle the uh, precision forged steel is engineered to to the highest standards like normally like tough built does and the ergonomic uh, triple injected uh, injection handle it really increases grip and stability and uh, I could probably use this all day without getting uh, fatigued or anything like that I don't dis, uh, necessarily use a hammer all day long but if I did man this thing is fantastic it still has the uh, magnetic nail holder at the end of the uh, tip of the head which is kinda nice and uh, so the item number on this is TB H1 1S BR and I believe that's an S20X as an x-ray and it's really really uh, well done the um, like I said the mail the uh, magnetic nail starter is on there just like on the the 18 ounce hammer which they just came out with recently this is, is a 20 ounce hammer so it's a little heavier than the 18 ounce hammer I was looking for mine earlier to see if I could uh, uh, put them side by side but I evidently it's in uh, in my truck somewhere I was using it the other day and um, probably didn't put it back where I was supposed to so the uh, and of course the the hammer is backed by the tough built lifetime warranty when you get the hammer it, it on the packaging it's gonna have a little QR code scan that QR code go there and go to the website where it takes you and and add your information on there because this thing is fantastic um, it helps the if you scan that QR code and put your information in if you ever have an issue with the hammer or something like that I never have but if you do um, then you can you know call tough belt and um, you know get uh, that information they already have that information in their system and it's a little, a little easier for them to, to find the information and get you a plate replacement or get your money back if you're not happy but they do stand back stand by their warranty so uh, and I'm in contact with them on a, on a kind of a regular basis so you know if you have any kind of um, you know issues actually what you can do too is go to my uh, uh, the Facebook page that I, I created was the it's the uh, tough book tough built tools Facebook page and uh, uh, join up on there we've got over I think 36 3600 members I think the last time I checked um, trying to keep up with that as well so uh, yeah definitely go there and and use this hammer this is the shock stop hammer from tough built and just put some I had this old this uh, saw uh, not saw horse this is a car ramp that I made several years ago and I do have a video on this one uh, made out of two by fours and two by tens and these things work great got a handle on it 
uh, but I wanted to show use the I wanted to use this shock stop hammer and see now I'm just pounding in different sizes of nails and I wanted to see um, if I could actually feel the shock off this hammer like it says this is really nice These are going in really nice. And I'm not feeling any of the shock. So that apparently this little spring tensioner that they have in here, you can't move this head on the hammer at all, but I could do this all day and not feel fatigued. I'm using different sizes of uh, nails. Just I got a bin of nails here. I'm just trying, trying it out. And... I just really like, like I like the way this hammer feels. If you're a framer or even a DIYer, I mean, you still need a decent hammer if you're a DIYer. And I could use this thing all day without really getting tired. It's a really nice hammer. It's weighted really well. It's a 20 ounce hammer. It does have a fairly big head on it. And, uh, which is bigger than normal, but you see, that's what I like about it. The uh, the kind of meat cleaver end, it does leave an indention on your wood. So if you're doing finish work, obviously don't use this hammer. But Tough Bill really did well when they, I like the hand, the handle's got a rubberized feel to it. And it's very well balanced. And I, I just, I think this is really nice. Um, I think they run about 40 bucks, $49 or something. I'll put the price up on the screen. Uh, I'll have to look for it when I'm editing. I'll put the price on the screen for you. So if you're on the fence about this hammer and you're, you're a framer or a guy who uses a hammer all day long, get this hammer. This is great. I really like this hammer. If you're getting great value on my channel, this is Timidator Toolman. Go down and hit the uh, like and subscribe button and share this video with, with others. Uh, share it with your buddies and your friends. And I'll catch you on the next one. Timidator Toolman back at you.